She is the definition of a flight risk. Those are the words in court today about serial stowaway Marilyn Hartman just days after she was caught at O'Hare again. CBS News Brandon Marino outside the Cermak Health Center at Cook County Jail where Hartman is being held. Brandon. Brad, today she appeared in front of a judge via Zoom for a bond hearing that lasted about 20 minutes. Both the prosecution and the defense acknowledging her bipolar disorder in their arguments. I don't care at all if someone calls me crazy. I mean, the story is crazy. As Marilyn Hartman herself described it to CBS2 investigators. It was like something out of a movie. There's been a Marilyn fighting over here. But according to mental health expert Cheryl Potts, Hartman's story is more complicated. In my opinion, the the story around Ms. Hartman is one of a woman living with a mental health disorder. Then, unfortunately, there are these behaviors that have led her to involvement with the criminal justice system. A criminal justice system Hartman is all too familiar with. Charged with three felonies since 2018, all relating to sneaking past airport security and hopping free flights. In court Thursday morning, Hartman's defense attorney claimed the exclusive interview with CBS2 investigators Sunday night triggered Hartman, leading to her arrest Tuesday and claiming Hartman never agreed to broadcast the interview. Can I record this call? You definitely can record it. That's fine. What are your thoughts on the defense claiming that Marilyn didn't agree to that interview? Anyone who saw that interview would never come to that same conclusion. It was clear that she wanted to be a part of that interview. She enjoyed it. Hartman's defense arguing for another attempt at treatment. The prosecution, a harsher penalty. She could potentially get up to 15 years for all these uh, violations, plus this new news charge. You know, that's an absolute waste of the taxpayers' money. A tough decision, according to legal analyst Irv Miller. Potts hopes people like Hartman will remember this story as one of hope for people dealing with disorders like Hartman's. The judge set Hartman's bond for the most recent charges at $100,000, but she's already being held without bail for those previous charges. She goes in front of that judge on Monday. It's the same judge who said previously that she won't give Hartman probation again. For now, live outside Cermak Health Center, Brandon Morano, CBS2 News.